What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily Rewind. It's where we go back a week and give you all of your tech news stories in one single video. And this week was chock pack full of tech news. Everything from everything Samsung just announced, the pre-orders going live for that. Some of the devices are already out in the wild and you can have them in your hands, such as the Galaxy Bud Lives and the Sam Samsung Galaxy Watch 3. There's been multiple days of information about Microsoft's new phone, the Surface Duo. It's an Android phone that'll be coming out. It seems like very, very soon. We've seen more official photos of that. Pixel information. They have a new foldable phone coming out. There's all kinds of really interesting, fun stuff this week. So make sure you watch it. Why not? Get caught up. Even rewatch it. Learn something again. Why not? Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Boom. Let's get into the tech news, but before we do, I just wanted to inform you guys I will be going live on August 5th for the Samsung Unpacked event. Now, if you wanna hang out with me, I'll be giving live commentary for the show. You can hang out with me, we can talk about it as things are announced. Now, I will let you know, I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna actually show the actual video of the event. I'll show my face and everything, but I might not show the event, so just be forewarned that I might not show it. I'm still up in the air about that, but I will definitely give live commentary on it. Let's jump into the news. First story of the day, Google Pixel 4a. We talked about it yesterday. You can actually pre-order it right now on Amazon. Now, as you can see right on Amazon, I'll link it down below if you wanna grab it. It's 389, even though we know the phone's 349. So basically for 389, you get the Pixel 4a and a case, uh, an official Google case. You can get the basically black case or the blue confetti. And uh, these are like fabric cases, kind of neat little cases. And overall, the phone should be really, really nice. It's gonna be an unlocked phone, so it works on all the carriers here in America. You get a 12 megapixel dual pixel rear camera with features like uh, a a HDR+, night sight, portrait mode. You can share photos directly from the viewfinder of your Pixel camera to Google and popular third-party apps. It's got an adaptive battery. It lasts up to 24 hours. Also, just FYI, it will be $349.99 without the case if you don't want or need a case. Uh, Best Buy earlier tweeted it out and then they deleted the tweet, so we should be seeing this a little bit later today. Next up, here's a quick look at the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus 5G box. Get excited? We should know and be able to pre-order this in days. Next up is a new feature coming out for the Galaxy Note 20 devices that really hasn't been talked about until now. This comes from Saudi Android who goes on to say that Samsung will launch a new competing NFC technology called UWP to transfer files at a very high speed. It appears for the first time with the Note 20 and will be available to several companies later. Now Max Weinbach went into this a little bit. I guess there's UWP is a Windows thing and UWB would be similar to the U1 chip, which is on Apple's being used for file transfer though instead. So it looks like this is pretty cool stuff that you'll be able to transfer files, hopefully to Windows computers and not just Galaxy devices as well. Um, hopefully this takes fruition and really grows. Next up, if you haven't seen it, there is a quote unquote AT&T official promo video that's been leaked out. It gives basically all the details of the Galaxy Note 20, Note 20 Ultra phones. I'm not going to play it. Um, if you wanna check it out, I've linked it down below. There's a Sam Mobile link for it. You can check it out there. And the reason I'm not playing just for copyright reasons. In the past, this kind of stuff has bit me in the butt. Not gonna do it again. Next up, Galaxy Watch 3 is already at at least one Best Buy on display. The box itself, you can see it behind the cages. So again, just a matter of time, you should, I would assume that the, the order for these is gonna go live on August 5th. And the last story of the day, a new official trailer for Samsung Unpacked was released today by Samsung, so let's watch it together. All right, so let's start watching it right now. And it shows the S Pen, then it shows the Galaxy Note 20, Note 20 Ultra Phone in the back, the front really quick, showing that it's powerful. Shows off the Galaxy Bud Lives, the Galaxy Watch 3, Samsung Galaxy Innovation, Myth, Khalid. So game is gonna be big on here. BTS looks like they're showing some stuff as well. So looks like BTS will probably unveil the new uh, Galaxy Fold 2. And then really quick, let's just look at some images from this 
video, you can see again, the Galaxy Note 20, Note 20 Ultra phone. Then we see the side of the Galaxy Fold 2. We see BTS and there's some blurred stuff on there showing some products, obviously. More Korean boy band stuff here. Again, blurring out the images. Most likely the Galaxy Fold 2. Here's a closer look at the Galaxy Buds Live, which are going to be active noise cancellation and should retail around $169. And then lastly, the Galaxy Watch 3. The event is only two days away. It's gonna be on Wednesday and it's gonna be chock full of products, guys. So thanks for- Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is about the Pixel 5. Now the Pixel 5 uh, should be out in probably around October of this year. And we have a little bit of information from it from a good friend of mine. This tweet comes from Ross Young who says, Next new Google phone, the 5G version, will be 6.67 inches from Samsung display and BOE, and also it'll be 120 hertz. I believe he's talking about the, the Pixel 5. He's gotta be. I can't imagine the Pixel 4a 5G is gonna have 120 hertz uh, display. So looking at 120 hertz display on the next Pixel phone. Uh, also, he threw in a little uh, tidbit here saying that his sources also indicate that no 120 hertz Hardware will be on the new iPhones. You need 120 hertz driver ICs. So it's good news for the new Pixel phone, that new 120 hertz display. And again, the iPhone thing, there's been rumors that it was gonna have it and then it's not gonna have it. And uh, Ross Young has a very good uh, track record. He's an insider with displays and uh, things like that. So him saying this, you can probably count it as concrete. Next up is an image side by side of the Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra, and the Note 20 Ultra is on the right, Note 20 is on Note 20 Ultra is on the left, Note 20 is on the right, and the, some of the big takeaways you can see, obviously, the Note 20 Ultra is more squared off, whereas you get rounded edges with the Note 20. The camera punch hole is a lot bigger on the regular Note 20 versus the Note 20 Ultra. Obviously, the display size is a lot bigger as well on that Note 20, or at least it looks a lot bigger on the Note 20 Ultra. You're looking at 6.9 versus 6.7. And the last story of the day, as you can see, is a new wireless convertible charger that's coming out for Samsung. He put nine watts, but I believe this one is 15 watts. So you'll be able to charge it as fast as you can wirelessly with your Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, S20 Ultra, all those phones. Uh, and basically it's just that we don't know pricing or anything like that, but this is gonna be what it's gonna look like. You'll be able to set the adjustment of how far you want it back, which is nice because sometimes you want it to be straight up or maybe you want it to be more laid back and that you'll come and be able to get it in black and white as well. Kind of a slow news day a little bit, but remember tomorrow's the big day, Samsung Galaxy Unpacked. I'll be going live for the event uh, I'll be live probably around a little bit before 7 a.m. Pacific, just a little bit before the event. So make sure you check out the channel. Come hang out and talk uh, the Galaxy device with us as they release those. I'll be talking about them live. So Welcome to Samsung Unpacked Day. I'm releasing this video very, very early before the event. Um, I might even do a video after the event, but regardless, Samsung Unpacked is today, 7 a.m. Pacific, 10 a.m. Eastern time, and just figure it out wherever you are from there. I am going live today. I've said it like a million times. Samsung will be showing off these devices right here. The Galaxy Tab S7, S7 Plus, the new Galaxy Bud Live, it's the Galaxy Z Fold 2, Galaxy Watch 3, and the Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra. And it's gonna be a crazy fun event. Again, I'll be broadcasting live the whole time. Um, giving live commentary. You might not see the actual event during my live show, but I will be talking as they release and talk stuff out at the event. I will be broadcasting live what I think about it. Besides that, guys, we've got some crazy news going on right now, at least with Galaxy Fold 2 and all that. So let's jump into what we've learned within the last few hours. So Sam Chun has come out and said that the Galaxy Fold, the original one, the first one, you had 12 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage. And then he says the top version, which is the uh, internal name for the Z Fold 2, will come with either 12 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage, or 12 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage. So it looks like we're not gonna get 512 gigabytes of storage on the new Fold 2. It'll remain on the Fold 1. It's probably to reduce the, 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 the cost of everything. When you I look at some of the replies from there, Max Weinbach reiterates that most regions are only gonna get 256 gigabytes of storage for the Galaxy Z Fold 2. 
I know this will become as a little bit of a disappointment for some people. For me, it's not a big deal. Again, it's gonna to be to reduce the cost of this device to keep it under probably $2,000. The rumored price is $1,999. It was $1,980 in the Galaxy Fold 1. I would have liked to see 16 gigs of RAM and 5, 12 gigs of storage, but for me, I'll live, it'll be completely fine. I don't think we have to worry about that. There's another huge development with the Galaxy Z Fold 2 and it has to do with the hinge on the outside of the device. Sam Chun is reporting that the hinge colors can be chosen between different things. So if you choose Mystic Bronze, you can get copper hinge. If you choose the Mystic Black, you get a black hinge or you can customize the color options for that hinge. You can choose Platinum Silver, Rich Gold, ruby red or sapphire blue. Now I'm not gonna show the image just because the image is a very internal document from Samsung, but it, I'll link to it down below. You'll see Evan Blass's tweet on it and it shows you the colors of exactly what these hinges are going to look like on the new Galaxy Fold 2. And just remember, it seems like the, if you want these customized colors for the hinges, you will have to order it directly through samsung.com. Now beyond what I've already said about the Galaxy Z Fold 2, Max Weinbach has put out another tweet and I, it sounds like there's more to be announced that has not been talked about before this event for the Z Fold 2 because he put out a tweet saying, guys, there is some real hype over the Fold 2. You just gotta trust me on this one. So it seems like there's gonna be even more information coming out about this device during the event. Could it be an S Pen support? Could it be, and that, cause that was rumored. It was rumored to have S Pen support at one point. Maybe that's gonna be one of the things in here. I don't know. Maybe he was originally talking about the, the hinge colors. Again, I'm not sure, but there's some craziness going on for that device, a very hyped up device for, for me and a lot of other people. Some of you not so hyped. But regardless, guys, it's gonna be a very, very fun day today. More news is definitely gonna leak out closer and closer to this event. So I don't think I'm gonna put out another video before the event in terms of unpack. They'll do everything after and during live for the show. So make sure you come hang out with us. It's gonna be a lot of fun. In this video, we're gonna be all about the Samsung Galaxy Unpacked event and the devices, pre-orders, things that surprised me and other information that I learned from the event. And if you watch the event, you'd probably see that it was kind of boring. It was a, one giant big infomercial. Samsung, I love you guys, but please put a little bit more heart, a little bit more soul into your live event next time. This one was just, I don't know. I wasn't totally into it. But anyways, the products are amazing though. Great job with those. Let's first talk about the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3. It goes on sale tomorrow, August 6th. I'm not sure if it's gonna be right at midnight or if it's gonna be at like 9 a.m. or what, didn't say. So let's prepare for midnight. If I do find out a time for these devices that are going on sale tomorrow, August 6th, I'll put a little comment and I'll pin it uh, in this video and let you guys know in terms of, you know, down below this video. So anyways, let's talk about it. The prices on this are going to be, for the 41 millimeter version, 399. If you want the LTE version of the 41 millimeter, it's gonna be 449. And then for the 45 millimeter version, it's gonna be 429. Or if you want the LTE version, it's 479. As for specs and things, this is what it is on the screen. And we've talked about it before, but in case you hadn't seen it, you can see the RAM, the storage amounts, the processor inside, all of that information. Next up, Samsung Galaxy Bud Lives. You can actually order those right now. All the links that I'm talking about for any of the products, I'm gonna put them all down below so you can just click on them and either reserve it, if you are able to do that, sign up for notification of when it's gonna be available or even pre-order it right now. So you can pre-order the Samsung Galaxy Bud Lives with active noise cancellation. They go for 170. Um, I already pre-ordered mine. I got the bronze color and they say that they ship as early as August 7th and you can do that right now. What about the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2? You, know, you can't pre-order it yet but you can reserve one. Again, link down below in the description of this video. And when you reserve it, it basically puts in your name into a, a, you know, the ability to get it when it comes up for pre-order. Pre-order will be September 1st, release date September 18th. All falls in line with what we've been hearing, but the pre-order date is brand new, September 1st for this 
foldable phone. Here's the specs on the screen and then all lines up again with what we've been hearing before. 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage, 4500 milliamp battery, and comes in the colors of Mystic Black and Mystic Bronze. One thing to know about the Galaxy Fold 2 versus the Galaxy Fold 1, Galaxy Fold 1 came with Galaxy Buds. It looks like Galaxy Fold 2 will not come with any wireless buds inside of the box. So if you're counting on that, don't, because it looks like they don't, at least per Max Weinbeck. Also, there will be a Tom Brown version of the Galaxy Z Fold 2. We've heard that before. Also the watch, the earbuds, it looks really sleek, really nice. Um, it's gonna be super expensive though, and most people probably won't even buy it, but still, it looks really nice. Galaxy Tab S7, S7 Plus. You can see the specs right here, nothing too surprising about it. Um, there's no pre-order date, which is kind of surprising in a way. Um, the, uh, the actual order date will be August 21st, so I guess you'll be able to at least um, get it delivered or ordered by August 21st. Starting price is $600 and $49 for the Tab S7, and then starting price for the Tab S7 Plus will be $849, and it goes up from there. Galaxy Note 20, Note 20 Ultra. As you can see from the top of the screen in there, reserve a Note 20 to get $200 in Samsung credit toward accessories and more when you complete your pre-order. Price for the Note 20 will be $999. You can trade in a device. If you choose a Samsung device, you can get up to $650. If you're coming from a Note 10, you can get uh, 650 bucks as well, which is nice. If you have an Apple device, you can get up to 650 bucks as well. And the highest price you'll get with a Pixel phone is $400. You can get it in 128 gigs of storage only. Comes in the colors of Mystic Bronze, Mystic Green, and Mystic Gray. And it's you can see right here, it says your purchase will include $150 Samsung credit to spend toward accessories and more. Get 10% off Galaxy Buds Lives and Galaxy Watch 3 when you add both to your pre-order. Also an option to use Samsung credit for the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate Bundle, including Bluetooth gaming controller to play Xbox games on your Galaxy Note 20 with three months access to over 100 Xbox games. You also can choose uh, four free months of YouTube Premium and six free months of Spotify Premium. What if you choose the Note 20 Ultra? Well, that's going to cost you, if you want the 128 gigabyte version, it's $12.99. If you want the 512 gigabyte version, it's $14.49. That is a surprise to me because I heard it was $13.49, so it looks like it's gonna be $14.49 for that 512 version. Now, if you get the 128, it comes in Mystic Bronze, Mystic White, and Mystic Black, but if you get the 512, it only comes in black. Now, the pre-orders are basically the same, except you'll get $200 Samsung credit to spend towards your accessories. You might wanna know what's new with the S Pen. Well, here are the new features. So lower latency, it'll be nine milliseconds on the Note 20 Ultra. If you get the regular Note 20, it'll be 26 milliseconds, which is still lower than the Galaxy Note 10 phones, which were 42 milliseconds. Also five new air gestures. You have navigate back, home, recent app, smart select, and screen capture. Battery life has been improved on the S Pen as well on the Note 10. It was 10 hours in standby on the Note 20. It's 24 hours of standby. Now with Samsung phones, you now get three generations worth of operating system updates. That is the latest features and the latest security for your phone. So if you keep your phone for three years, you're gonna get three years of quality updates. Pre-orders for the Note 20, Note 20 Ultra are August 6th, but you can reserve it right now, link down below. So there you guys go, there's the pre-orders and information on all of that pricing, availability. And uh, for me, I, the devices I plan on buying, Galaxy Z Fold 2, Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, the, I already purchased these, the Galaxy Buds Live, even though I'll probably get them free. I wanted to get them now because you can, you can order them now and they'll be delivered hopefully by this weekend, if not Monday coming up. I will plan also probably getting the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus along with the keyboard attachment with it. And I think that's it at that point. It's very expensive, so I gotta figure some stuff out. I'm actually gonna put out two TV Daily videos today. Um, one will be all about the pre-orders and what I ordered and all of that. And then another one will be some, uh, some more information about uh, Samsung phones and other devices as well. So let's get into this video, which will be all about the pre-order. So first of all, 
Uh, I pre-orders are actually live right now for the Galaxy Note 20, Note 20 Ultra, the Galaxy Bud Lives, and the Galaxy Watch 3, which you can actually buy right this second. Now, yesterday, I was actually able to order a pair of the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live, and I ordered them in copper by accident. I didn't want copper, but I'm kind of glad I got it now just because it's an exclusive color, hasn't been seen before. So I ordered that, and that actually is going to be delivered tomorrow. So tomorrow, I, that will be my video, one of my videos that I release tomorrow. It'll be an unboxing, first impression, so I can let you guys know what I think and if you should actually buy them or not. And just if you don't really know about the Galaxy Buds Live, they have active noise cancellation, a really brand new design that looks like a, a kidney bean in your ear. Um, they come in the colors of bronze, black, and white and you can pre-order them right now. Link is in the description. Also, I got my email yesterday, even though it was supposed to start today, I was able to pre-order my Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, and you can as well at this point. You don't need to wait for any emails or anything like that. The link for that is also down below pre-order away. And just to let you know, all the links that I have in the description, they actually help support this site. So I'm all for it and I'll give you guys a big hug if you're able to use my links and support the site. But anyways, let's talk about what I got in my pre-order. I ended up ordering the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G, 512 gigabytes unlocked version. Now you could get the 128, they both have micro SD cards. I don't use micro SD anymore and I was like, eh, whatever. I'll just get the 512. So I, I got the 512. Um, I did say I was gonna trade in my S20 Ultra, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just gonna sell it on Swappa. I can get, I should be able to get over $1,000 for that by selling it on Swappa versus 650 from Samsung. Also, it comes with Spotify Premium for six months, uh, YouTube Premium for four months, and then the other two gifts that I chose as my freebies is, is the XP, XP5, xCloud game controller, and I'll show that in a second. Uh, so that'll allow me to play the Xbox games on here. And then also the Galaxy Bud Lives in black. So I was wanting those, and you're gonna say, well, you already purchased the uh, bronze ones. Well, I wanted the black ones overall, and I think at this point I can probably sell the bronze ones to a friend for cost. Now, if you're curious which gifts you can get um, for your credits when you buy a Galaxy Note 20, Note 20 Ultra, here they are right here. So like I told you, I got the ones uh, here on the left-hand side. So I got the Galaxy Bud Lives, which go retail for 170. And then I also got the uh, Moga XP5 X controller, which is basically uh, an Xbox compatible Game Pass controller that'll allow me to connect my phone and I, again, I can play video games. So that's what it looks like right there. But also, you know, beyond this, you can get a bunch of things. So you can get the Galaxy Watch. Could have got the Galaxy Watch 3 with Galaxy Bo Bud Buds Live and saved 10%. They, and then they also have the smaller versions of the watch as well. So, or you could just get the watch standalone and use that $200 credit if you got the Note 20 Ultra to cut into the cost of that. You could also have gotten headphones and, and a, a Chromebook or a tablet uh, this, or, or even the Tab S6, all kinds of really cool stuff that they were uh, able to, you know, either cut the cost into or get them completely free. Now let's check out the rest of these ones as well. They have chargers here. This is like the covers and chargers pack where you could get, um, I wish they had the car charger. I don't think they had it here. I would have probably got that one. I actually forgot to get it. So even if they did have it, which yeah, I don't see it here, I still wanted that 45 watt car charger, even though the Note 20 Ultra is supposed to not have 45 watt charging, unfortunately. And then here's the last page of free gifts. You can get TVs, but again, you're not gonna get a TV for free. You just cut into the cost of the TV. They have security cameras, smart plugs, all kinds of really nice stuff. So again, Galaxy Bud Lives that I purchased separately from my pre-order will arrive tomorrow. And then my phone is due to arrive on the 21st, but we all know sometimes those will arrive a couple days earlier, a week earlier, it depends where you order it from. Part two today, I told you I was gonna do two videos and I lived up to my promise. So let's jump into the news for today. First story of the day is about the Google Pixel 4 and 4XL, not the 4A, but the 4 and 4XL. They've been discontinued already and it hasn't already even been a year. Now this story comes from 9to5Google and Google has given them a official 
announcement about this saying that Google has confirmed that it has discontinued the Pixel 4 line. It will no longer be sold on the Google Store, though it will be available from other retailers while supplies last. The company reiterates that the company, the phones will receive OS and monthly security updates through October 2022. And here's their official quote. Google Store has sold through its inventory and completed sales of 44XL. For people who are still interested in buying the 44XL, the product is available from some partners while supplies last. Just like all Pixel devices, the Pixel 4 will continue to get software and security updates for at least three years from when the device first became available on the Google Store in the US. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. I would say it's more of a bad thing that they're discontinuing it this early. It's been, you know, nine and a half, ten months at this point. Usually it takes sometimes up to a year, at least a year, usually two years before they discontinue a phone. Now they are, they just came out with the Pixel 4a and then the Pixel 5 is just around the corner. Maybe that's what's going on, but kind of sad news in a way. Next story is an FYI, forget the Galaxy Note 20, Note 20 Ultra, and I actually mentioned this in my news story I did a, a few hours ago. Uh, they don't support 45 watt charging, so if you have that 45 watt charger, it will charge your phone, not at 45 watts, but at 25 watts. I'm not sure why Samsung removed it. I mean, there wasn't a huge speed difference between the two, but still, it's kind of it's kind of weird for sure. Um, I'm not completely sure why. If you guys have any reasons, let me know in the comments down below. As you know, the Galaxy Note 20 comes in a whole slew of different colors. Well, here's a few more colors it will be coming out in as well. Maybe not here in America, maybe here in America, we're not sure, but definitely in other parts of the world. Now, these photos are from a Korean telecom. You can see it's gonna come in red, which is beautiful looking. I love the red. Also, you'll be able to get it in this nice rich blue color as well. I'm digging the blue for sure. And then it looks like also like a pink color. The pink color is really nice as well. I think these, these should have been the main colors right off the bat. Uh, but they chose some kind of blandish colors. I like these colors. These are really, really nice looking. Uh, it's too bad they're from the Note 20 and not the Note 20 Ultra though. Speaking of red, Galaxy Bud Lives come in copper, black, and white. They're also, at least in Korea, gonna come out in red as well. I don't know if I love this red color. It's it's okay. I don't like it as much as the Galaxy Bud Plus Live, Galaxy Bud Pluses, I should say, red color. This one's okay though. I mean, I'd be willing to try it at the very least, but yeah, kind of interesting uh, that they're gonna come in red as well for the, be for the beans. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is about the Galaxy Note 20, Note 20 Ultra. When you get this phone, you'll have a shiny new software update waiting for you when you have the phone in hand. One has been pushed out already for people that have the phone. So what you can expect from this update is, we don't really know, but it's basically just, it's probably just bug fixes and things like that. The update is about 493 megs and the update itself just says a software update can include, but is not limited to device stability improvements and new or enhanced features, further improvements to performance. It's probably again, nothing too crazy because the update's not that large. It's probably bug fixes and security fixes. If you have a Galaxy S20 and you know, we run it at 120 Hertz, you'll notice that you can't run it at max resolution. Well, what about the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus? That also has 120 Hertz. Will we be able to run that at maximum resolution and 120 Hertz? Yes! Yes, you can. SamMobile.com is reporting that you can run 120 Hertz maximum refresh rate and maximum resolution on the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. That means 2800 by 1752, it will work. This is awesome, this is amazing, finally. I don't know why Samsung hasn't done it on their other devices, but this does have a Snapdragon 865 Plus. And uh, right when you get this, this tablet, you'll be able to run it 120 Hertz max resolution. And the last story of the day is about the Galaxy Z Fold 2. We have a real hands-on video. This comes from Ben Geskin. I'm gonna hit play right now. And it's just, it makes me, like you can just see it looks so premium when he, they're opening and closing it and showing this off. It looks really large in his hands right there when it's completely wide open. Even when it's closed, it looks really long and slender, but just beautiful screen. This is going to be a crazy, amazing device. People that have the Fold 1, I think you probably already know more about this. I haven't really played with this phone, so the Fold 2 obviously is a refinement, an improvement. Huge display on the back and the front, inside and the front. I'm just 
totally stoked about this, guys. What about you? Does that video make you want it more? It makes me want it more. Even though they're just literally opening and closing it, just seeing the video and the quality of it, it just, I'm like, damn, that thing looks really good. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day. A phone I'm kind of excited about, and I've been excited about for a while now because they were supposed to release it a while ago, is the Microsoft Surface Duo. Remember, this is a dual screen phone, and we've got some more official images that have leaked out. Now, Microsoft didn't officially leak these out, but EV leaks did. And remember, this is supposed to be a dual 5.6 inch displayed phone with a Snapdragon 855 with six gigabytes of RAM, and then storage either 64, 128, and 256. 11 megapixel camera for both the front and rear. 3460 milliamp battery with USB-C charging. It's supposedly expected to launch this month. So you're looking at mere weeks before this would launch. And in terms of usage, this is kind of the way it would look. I mean, it's got a kind of a short, fat screen, but I think that's gonna be very comfortable for a dual display phone instead of long and skinny. Um, you can see the guy typing here with uh, Microsoft Word. Here's another one where it's just angled up like a downward dog. And then you have it closed up, just looking at one of the displays. And remember, this will run Android, but ultimately it will be made by Microsoft. The other thing I take away from this, at least spec-wise, is I, I, it's gotta be an inexpensive device. I would think under $1,000 or $1,000 at that. I can't imagine this is gonna be like 1,500 bucks or $2,000. It can't, especially with the low-end processor, I'm, or somewhat lower, I mean, it's, a, it's a, what, a last year's processor. You would think they're doing that to cut cost. And then also, it doesn't have a ton of RAM, only six gigabytes of RAM and it doesn't have a, a crazy amount of storage. It's as low as 64, so maybe they'll have like, maybe it'd be 799, 899, 999, I don't know. But I would expect this to be very, very inexpensive. And I know for a fact, at least, because it's through AV leaks, that it will at least come uh, through AT&T. I don't know if they'll have an unlocked version, but at least AT&T will carry it. Last story of the day, Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. Now, if you're looking to order this one, it comes out on August 21st. There's no pre-order just yet here in America. But in the Netherlands, it actually is up for pre-order and they have already announced the pre-order gifts. And I fully expect these probably most likely to be the same pre-order gifts here in the United States and probably a lot of other places in the world. So if you order the Galaxy Tab S7, S7 Plus, it looks like you'll be able to get either one of two gifts. Uh, the first one is a book cover case for the Galaxy Tab S7, S7 Plus. It's not the one with the keyboard. It's basically just a case on there. So if you want a case, you can get it for free. Or the other one is Xbox Game Pass. So you get three months of Xbox Game Pass, which would allow you to stream from the cloud 30, uh, three, I should say 100 games that are available through Xbox Game Pass, as well as a free controller that is compatible with that service so you can game with your Xbox Game Pass on your Galaxy Tab S7, S7 Plus. For me, I would probably take the case due to the fact that I already have a controller coming with my Note 20 Ultra pre-order, um, but I, I don't, mine doesn't come with free Game Pass, and I don't, I don't really play games anyway that much, but I just got it because there's nothing else I wanted for the pre-order gifts. So I'd probably choose the case. What about you guys? Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is actually super interesting. We've been talking about the Microsoft Surface Duo. Remember, this is gonna be Microsoft's, I guess that's a jump in, yeah. Is it their first Android phone? I think it's their first Android phone. If it's not, it's one of the first Android phones in a long time by them. And we've been talking about it. it's a foldable screen, it's got dual displays, and by foldable, I mean it folds in half. The tool display doesn't actually have a folding mechanism in terms of like the Galaxy Fold 2, but regardless of all that, and I also said AT&T was definitely going to carry it, and I don't know about anybody else, but AT&T was definitely going to carry it. Well, guess what? AT&T actually has a photo on hand of the same phone on their own server, so we're just literally, and obviously you don't even see a watermark on it or anything like that, and you can see at the, uh, well, if you don't believe me, just click on the link down below. It goes to AT&T's website, it's freaking crazy. So that means this phone will be out in just a matter of time at this point. What do you think it's gonna cost? Put it in the comments, let me know. Next up is all about Google Pixel devices. Now, of course, they just announced and released the Google Pixel 4a. The Google Pixel 5 will probably be out in October. 
Well, we get some inter interesting information because 9to5Google Google got their hands on an internal Google document that states that they're coming out with three very interesting devices in late 2021. Obviously, they'll come out with the Pixel 5a in uh, second quarter of 2021. But beyond that, the fourth quarter of 2021, they're looking at three devices, Raven, Oreo, and also Passport. Now. Raven and Oreo will most likely be a Pixel 6 devices, but what about Passport? Passport is labeled explicitly as a foldable device. I love foldable phones, even though I haven't really had too many or played with that many in my hand, but this is looking like Pixel is coming out with their own foldable device by 2021, a foldable Pixel. How awesome is that? This is great. This is gonna be more and more dual display, foldable displays, whatever you wanna end up calling, whatever uh, form they take. There's so many ways they can do this. I'm stoked about this because just it's gonna push this, uh, this category further and further along. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Pixel foldable phone, are you excited about that? Next up is a tweet from Chun who says, so Samsung has three different Z Flip prototypes. The one that I like most, and I agree with them as well, is the one with the horizontal triple camera setup. And then remember that picture right there is the outside of the phone, so keep that in mind. And big outer display on the bottom. But regardless, this is what the design might look like with the Z Flip third generation model with that big square display on the outside, fairly big, and then three cameras at the top. So it's gonna be hopefully a little bit more user friendly, at least the outer display. And the last story of the day is all about the Galaxy Note 20, Note 20 Ultra. Is it is it sold out? Is it behind? Can you buy it now? And I'm gonna tell you, because I had a fan reach out and I'm sorry, I forgot your name, but regardless, yes, you can buy it. Note 20 uh, is available for delivery, or at least it'll go out to, as, to, for delivery as early as August 19th. Same thing with the Note 20 Ultra. You can get it 128 or 512. It still says August 19th. So if you've been on the fence about buying this and you wanna get it on time, Definitely do it right now. You don't want to delay at all. I have it linked down below if you want to take advantage of any and all Samsung products that were announced that you want to purchase uh, for pre-order order or, the, or that are already out like the Galaxy Buds as well. Galaxy Buds Lab, those are awesome headphones. Get those if you're thinking about getting them. They're awesome. Thanks for watching. Your question of the day is I already asked you a couple questions. I asked you about the price of the Surface Duo. I also asked you about the new Pixel foldable phone. If that excited you, let me know. You can answer both, none. Do whatever you want. Tell me what you ate for Sunday dinner. I don't care. We'll see you guys down the road.